in the month of September. Uh, we got the information that there is one uh, pregnant woman for delivery. And we sent the vehicle for picking up the pregnant woman, but the road is not motorable. It's very muddy and slippery. The other vehicle could not move, even the ambulance could not move. We have one river called Didram. If we cross the river, we can reach earlier, but that time it was raining, so crossing the river was not possible and there is no bridge. Though we can just see the village, it took us more than half hour to reach there. And unfortunately, the mother expired. Chinga ya kaldang sub center ni kita village dek edok tonga uno chinga hard to reach area gigi ni tonga. Mana chinga abrisi dona nanga uno chinga aro dau kita ke mandirang ni. Mana mandi jak boh chinga jau chang sade songi prakona ni ya. Gi prak prakonan gi to konan chinga jau sao songi prakona ni nanga uni gimen se chang dokte ni nanga ya songi to kona. Chinga home delivery kah gin se mo oba. Tahu getak ke bangga ni, ni kan ni orang home mana cinga home visit kaingon, wah je noko nai angge cinga pregnant mother ko aga ni ngacem, na hospital ona riba buat ni bisho aga ni ngacem, riba ge ni mana cinga bisho na aga ni ngacem, tahu getak ke kari orang ko free mat ge ni mana. Anga asani kampu kaingon, kangi anga sungi nokni pisang rangkoba, anga jaci ri, andi kemeng, panga mandi rangko, anga rabu, rembu, ngebarang hode ina, ngebarang hode anga pregnant cikap naba, remang ari nam ngebarang hode mo, andi ba kemeng hode manja. Angan itu kan mana dia? Dia ketam kepau romo. Mereka cakap cakap awak masih nak ke sana pun? Angan yang beri kepau dia sabsen halor nanti nang semut kian yang angan kari kari kepau romo. Hajar kini, kumpul kini, mars kini, kini kepau hari ku. Angan sekarang kepau dia cakap awak masih tengah aru ya sabsen halor kuli tengah ni angan sekarang kepau umah. July 2020, we have conducted deliveries. Since there is no electricity, sometimes if we conduct deliveries at night, we have to use by a torchlight or we have to use by a candle. Most of the time, conducting deliveries in a difficult situation, there's nothing to help us to focus the light on. Oxygen concentrator machines are available at our setup, but the fact that we do not have a power supply, so it becomes unusable in such a sense. Just, you know, like doing KMC, kangaroo mother care and stuff like that too as well, is some, something that, you know, like the alternative that we have to use. But I felt like if, uh, you know, power supply should have been, uh, you know, like there so we could have, uh, you know, like uh, perform our, you know, services to the people in a better manner. That day we had a power cut of I think 48 hours. That lady came in an emergency situation. So we had to conduct the delivery here. We had no other system of you know heating or preparing for the birth. And due to the hypothermia, which the baby got at that time, the baby did not survive. You can see it is located in the hill. And it's very cold. 
So most of the deliveries that we have here, we try our best, you know, to give the warmth which is supposed to be there. There is no radiant warmer like those heater, so we have to use that charcoal. Although we have knew that it is very harmful for their baby, because that smoke it is very harmful. But uh, since there is no option, so we have to use that one. We can warm the baby. We can do suction if there is uh, if there is any prob problem with the baby at any time. Before I joined in 2020, mostly people they are not coming forward to uh, conduct case like to do institutional delivery. But as soon as energy came, and then uh, as soon as we have started to move forward to uh, conduct case uh, here in uh, Health and Wellness Center, pe people, they are aware of this. Mostly the people, they have uh, come to conduct delivery in a Health and Wellness Center. <laughs>